and welcome to Knit Locally and this is going to be our tutorial on how to do the Rose City Rollers heel flap on double points. So let's talk about how to do the heel flap on double points. Now luckily this pattern is actually written for double points which means it's all written out pretty pretty um, word for word. But let's talk about it. So what the first direction was is normally you're going to have four double points. It says to knit across the first and the second needle, which I did, and to put all the stitches on this last needle, which I've done. So what I'm gonna do is you're actually only gonna be working the heel flap across this third needle right here, right? And just like before, I slipped my stitches to combine them all on one needle, okay? So now what we're gonna do is based on the direction, we're gonna slip one, knit one, across this whole needle. So I'm gonna slip it as if to purl and then knit one. I slip as if to purl, right? So not as if to knit, but as if to purl. Slip as if to purl, knit one. Slip as if to purl, knit one. Slip as if to purl, knit one. And if we're continental, I'm going to slip as if to purl, knit one. I'm gonna do all this all the way across. And I will say in the beginning, the double points do get a little bit tedious in the way, which is fine. They'll, the longer the flap, the more they'll be out of the way. And what you're doing is this creates actually like a reinforced heel which is nice because hopefully it will, it will wear better and longer over the long haul. Okay, so, and we knit our last one, okay? Now, we're gonna turn, and again, these heel stitches we're gonna be working back and forth. We're actually not gonna work in the round anymore. We're going to slip the first stitch, and this creates an easier edge for us to pick up later. We're gonna slip the first stitch. Actually, let's do this English style. Slip the first stitch and purl across. You're gonna purl each stitch. Just working back and forth on this one needle. Okay. And we are going to keep doing these two rows for, depending on how many stitches you cast on, the pattern will tell you, um, but it's approximately three inch, inches or I believe 32 rows. Yes, 32 rows. Well, I'm doing 64. So for me, it's 32 rows. And so what I'm going to do at the end of this is I will have a heel flap that's approximately three inches long. Let me actually just show you the pattern that it creates. And the slip stitch heel flap is a very traditional heel flap that we're making here. We're just going to go all the way across. We're almost there. We'll hopefully fast forward through this part. Okay, last stitch. Okay, so this creates I don't know if you can see it. It will create a very subtle slip stitch pattern. It will become more pronounced the further you go. And what you're gonna do is, create, is go ahead and keep doing this for 32 rows, and then our next video will show us how to pick up the stitches and decrease to create the other portion of that heel flap.